somebody that threatens other people, who can't get along with other people, and that thinks that physical violence is the way to solve things. So with that said, Alex, we accept this road. Hooray for JoJo. She made The Bachelorette a safer place for everybody last night when she made bad boy Chad hit the road, or did she? Just like a scary movie sequel, he's back. Previews for the next episode show Chad returning to the house even though JoJo finally had enough. I'm going to say goodbye to you here. Sorry. Goodbye doesn't seem to be in Chad's vocabulary. When you go home, you think I can't find you? You think I won't go out of my way <laughs> to come to your house? He seems to be more comfortable with threats. Do you have a problem with me? I mean, are you afraid? Do you want to go outside right now? Chad really likes to present himself as this alpha male, but he also very much reveals that he considers himself a victim. And in a way to fight against that, he compensates by being violent and volatile. Psychotherapist Dr. Robbie Ludwig tells us that just being on The Bachelorette might have increased Chad's potential for violence. If they feel humiliated, that can trigger an intense rage and acting out. They can be obsessional. So if they obsess on feeling humiliated, they can engage in stalker-like behavior. I think when somebody makes a valid threat, it should be seriously considered. Fellow contestant Alex was up close and personal with Chad in last night's climactic two-on-one date, and we spoke to him today about what it's like to poke the Chad bear. All of us had to experience this guy 24-7. Most of us were, were hypersensitive to, to him and wanted nothing to do with him. Yeah, it was a little scary watching Chad on The Bachelorette, but his family doesn't seem to mind the publicity. In fact, Chad's sister, Tiffany, posted a message about her brother and their late mother. Listen to this. She said, quote, Mom would be thrilled to see her son on Entertainment Tonight. So there you have it.